Hello everyone. Welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital's spoilers for Tuesday, October 31, show that Trina Robinson had a nightmare about Cyrus Renault holding her captive while Spencer Cassadine stood by and did nothing. In the dream, Cyrus advised that Spencer replace Trina with Esm Prince, so Spencer agreed Cyrus was correct and let him hold Trina away. Jocelyn Jax became alarmed when Trina woke up screaming. Adam also knocked on the door to make sure everything was okay because he was passing by and heard Trina yelling. Jocelyn reassured Adam, who intended to meet with Jocelyn later. When Jocelyn returned her focus to Trina, she received updates on the dream, as well as Trina's tantrum when Cyrus apologized to her at the gallery. Before Trina claimed the scariest aspect of the dream was Spencer just standing there, Jocelyn volunteered to talk to Sonny Corinthos about ensuring Trina's safety. Although Trina trusted Spencer to defend her in real life, she was nonetheless uneasy that her boyfriend seemed glad for Cyrus' protection while he was at Pentonville. When Cyrus arrived at Essen's door, she was clutching Ace Cassadine. Cyrus was seeking for Laura Collins, but he was grateful for the opportunity to spend time with Ace since his sister wasn't present. Spencer eventually arrived and whisked Esm off to work, where she planned to put Ace in daycare. That left an irritated Spencer alone with Cyrus, who was dismayed to discover Spencer being so unwelcoming. Although Spencer was grateful for Cyrus' protection while incarcerated, he still regarded Cyrus as dangerous and didn't want him anywhere around Ace. Cyrus said he was a changed man and urged Spencer to give him another chance, similar to the one Spencer had received. Meanwhile, Laura tracked down Sonny and informed him that Nicholas Cassadine was indeed alive. Laura hoped that Sonny would be there for Spencer if he came to Sonny for advice because Spencer was battling with abandonment problems. Sonny promised Laura that he would support Spencer, which reassured her because she was afraid Spencer would do something rash that he would later regret. Spencer struggled to manage his dating life with his duty as a surrogate parent came up as well, although Laura recognized Spencer was doing his best. Sonny warned Laura on Tuesday's GH episode that she needed to hurry home because she had a visitor. Laura returned to her place and interrupted Cyrus' unpleasant talk with Spencer, asking for a moment alone with her brother. Laura yelled at Cyrus for showing their uninvited and reminded him that he had no business being near children. Cyrus disapproved because Ace was connected to him and emphasized the value of family. Laura made it clear that if Cyrus wanted another opportunity, he would have to follow her rules, which meant coming over only when she said so. After handing over his card, Cyrus said he'd wait for her call and hoped she didn't take too long. Trina assisted Carly Spencer with the Halloween party decorations at Kelly's since she needed a distraction. When Trina summoned Spencer, he was likewise distracted as he pitched in. Spencer stated he was thinking about Pentonville and how far removed he felt from Trina when he first came out. Spencer felt like the luckiest guy in the world now that everything in their relationship had turned for the better, and he kissed Trina. Jocelyn noticed Adam looking lonely without any Halloween plans in the dorm, so she encouraged him to come help decorate Kelly's with her. Back at Kelly's, Anna Devane mentioned wanting to find a new place of her own, so Felicia Scorpio that she sublet Maxie's old apartment, especially since it was completely equipped and ready to go. Anna was soon welcomed into her new home by Maxie and Felicia. Anna insisted the property was fine and accepted the key because she intended to move in straight away. Following that, Anna called Sonny to inform him of her new living arrangements and to inform him that she would no longer require his bodyguard. Sonny was worried of her abandoning security, but Anna felt safe in her new building, which had a doorman and 24-hour security. Charlotte Cassadine complained to Valentine Cassadine at the cafe about how she should be able to trick or treat with her pals, unsupervised at 15 years old. Valentine was opposed to the plan, 
but Charlotte pouted about him not trusting her and wore him down. Valentin eventually agreed to leave Charlotte off with her friends in a secure neighborhood, but she had to go to a treatment appointment with Kevin Collins in exchange. Charlotte didn't think she needed it, but she agreed to the deal and hugged Valentin. Charlotte moved away to fetch a scone after promising she'd fulfill her half of the bargain. When Valentin got Laura on the phone to make the appointment with Kevin, he stated he was frightened and thought Charlotte needed assistance. Charlotte looked apprehensive as she eavesdropped nearby. In Vermont, Hamilton Finn awoke to see Elizabeth Baldwin drawing and finally walked outside with her to harvest apples. Later, Liz and Finn retired to bed for another round of lovemaking as they continued to enjoy their cavernous escape. According to General Hospital spoilers, Liz and Finn will have to return to Port Charles shortly, where relationship issues are unavoidable. General Hospital spoilers suggest that Elizabeth Baldwin recently discussed her boys with Hamilton Finn during their time together at the cabin, which led to an intriguing discovery. Cameron Webber was mentioned in the October 30 episode, along with the news that he's dating a new girl from college. Liz admitted she received updates from Jake Webber after Cam informed his brother. Although Liz has her reservations about Cameron actually getting over Jocelyn Jacks, she knows he isn't moping around. Cameron is still a student at Stanford University in California, so he is living his best life and has found a new partner who he hopes will make him happy. Of course, it'll be intriguing to see if Cameron returns to Port Charles with his mysterious woman later on. Could the new woman in Cam's life be a familiar face to fans? That's something to think about depending on what kind of plots the GH writers are working on. Cameron's date might easily be a recast version of someone familiar to viewers, or she may be a completely new character. In any case, it'd be entertaining to see Cameron bring this girl home to Port Charles. Cam might introduce her to his family and friends if they went to PC together. Cameron may well be attempting to make Jocelyn jealous, or at the very least showing off with this new female, simply to prove he's moved on. Cameron may work hard to make it appear like he has let go of Jocelyn and what could have been. Cameron is most likely still in a lot of agony as a result of Jocelyn's infidelity and how everything went down with Dex Heller, but he may conceal the reality and flaunt Joss' replacement. In any case, Elizabeth did mention a new female in Cam's life, so let's hope it's only a matter of time before she makes her Port Charles appearance. According to General Hospital spoilers, there will be some surprises and shakeups in the romance area, so stay tuned. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.